<gasps> Paul, the, there's a lot that's confusing about thermals and night vision, but the names don't help. So can you explain a little bit about the names and what they mean? Sure. Virtually every brand has a different designation for their product. So let's take the Helion, for example. There's a Helion XQ38 and a Helion XP50 and a Helion XQ50. So you've <laughs> XQ and XP, let's take that for example. So XQ tells us that it's a 384 by 288 sensor. XP tells us it's a 640 by 480 sensor. Um, the number tells us the, the focal length. So in terms of the lens size, which designates things like magnification and field of view. Um, heck of the same, they have a GH and a GQ. Again, your GH is your low resolution sensor, your GQ is your higher resolution sensor. And again, the number designates the, the, the focal length of the lens. So bigger lens than the GH50, smaller lens than the GH35. Okay, so it's not such a minefield then. They, they understand it, but it's just difficult when a consumer is trying to, you know, work their way through this particular uh, range of products, isn't it? Yeah, Thermion, for example, Thermion, you have you have an XM, an XQ, and an XP, and you have various multiple multiple different models in each one. So you've got an XM30, so that's a, a 320 sensor, 12 micron. Um, you've got an XQ, which is a 384 by 288 sensor. Then you've got the XP, which is a 640 by 480, and you've got the different lens sizes in there as well. So it does get confusing, but you know we're here to help. Anyone needs a question answered regarding it, we can show them all the differences in, in footage and tell them what each sensor does differently. Okay, for the bigger the sensor, the better the quality of the image. Yeah, sometimes. Oh, don't so, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> yeah. really? you, you also have, for example, a 384 by 288 sensor, 17 micron, and in the infrared tube, you have a 384 by 288 sensor, 12 micron. So these sensors are the same size, but obviously the difference in um, the pixel pitch makes a difference as well. So yeah, it does get a little bit confusing, but in terms of sensor size, 640 by 480 is better, 384 by 288 is not as good. A bit like your TV analogy I used earlier, HD in standard definition. Although we're not quite HD yet, you know, 640 by 480 is where we're at in the UK. <gasps>